All right, so what we're looking he at here is my 1954 Nash. I just sprayed two coats of SPI black epoxy. You can see it's pretty shiny, although don't be thinking that it's ready for paint because it's not. I still got a lot of work yet to do. This is a seal coat, which means it's sealing everything that's beneath it and it's getting the car all one color so that when you spray the final color, there won't be any patches or light spots or anything like that. If you look close, I still have some work to do and I'm gonna point out some flaws, so don't be dismayed, nobody's perfect. But in some spots you can see right there, it's a little run. I sprayed that corner of the fender particularly heavy because there were some sanding scratches I didn't like and I'm trying to fill them. One thing about SPI epoxy is it works as like a 2K filler and a sealer together. Um, and I chose black to seal my blemishes. Even though I've been sanding on this car and blocking it for, seems like forever, it's been a couple weeks, I don't know if you can see, but there's a couple of shallow dents right there that blocking didn't take care of. See that? I moved the camera just right, you can see it in the clouds. If this wasn't black and shiny, I wouldn't be able to see those. So, there they are. You know, this could be just a so-so paint job, I could just paint over that, but I don't I don't like so-so paint jobs. I like beautiful paint jobs. And you can see also, I got it really heavy here on this corner of the hood, trying to cover up some sanding scratches. There's a sanding scratch there. I've got a fix. Kind of looks like cottage cheese. It's got a little bit of a curdle to it. I did that on purpose. So when I sand it, I can see where I'm at. And hopefully I get rid of the sanding scratches. This fender in particular, I went extra heavy. I think I got three coats on there. So the whole car got a couple of really good coats. There were some rust pits on the roof that I had a devil of a time trying to get rid of. I think I finally got them. I just kept hosing on there until they filled in. They were right across here. There was one set there and one set there. And even though I blocked it a bunch of times with some high build, I just couldn't get rid of them. So it's looking pretty good. The sun was out today. It's November 1st. It's winter time here in Portland, Oregon. And you can see it's dry and sunny and about 63 degrees. It's a little cool for spraying a car, but I'll just take what I can get. It's much better than 40 degrees in rain. So the old Nash is looking pretty good. I'm really liking the dark color. I don't know what color I'm gonna go with yet. I'm thinking I might go with a British racing green, but something has to be something classy because it's a classy old car. So that is that. I'll just take you around so you can fill up your eyeballs with the shiny primer. Now normally it's not this shiny. I reduced it a little bit and I put on a couple of wet coats so it's shiny. But uh, it almost looks like paint. Some people may say it looks good just the way it is. Nah, not for me. We're gonna take it a step further. So there you go. That is what I did today. I'm exhausted, my back is sore. And uh, I'm gonna let the car sit for a couple days. And I wish I had some more sun so I could let it shrink. I wanna get all the problems out now before the paint goes on. And uh, I've still got to do some adjustment on this door. I don't like the way it shuts. So a few things to do. Little things. I found another little dent right there. You see that dent right there? Touch it. So everything that I do from here on out is making the car smoother, shinier, and straighter. That's what it's all about. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and listening to me ramble about my Nash. Could be a rambler, but I don't think so. Thanks for watching.